concession will fail, legal tussle imminent, says the labor. Oil price tumbles to $65, lowest in three months. On Sport News, West Africa overwhelms Sheffield United to top championship. Now the news and details. Buhari reappoints Oloyede as jump registrar. The President Major General Mohamed Buhari retired as reappointed Ishak Oloyede as Registrar Chief Executive of the Joint Administrations and Matriculation Board for a second term of five years. Others reappointed by President include Professor Abubakar Rashid, who will serve as Executive Secretary of the National Universities Commission for another five years. Amid Boboyi, Boboyi who will serve as Executive Secretary of the University Universal Basic Education Commission for a second year of four years, Professor Ifoma Isuogo Abanibe, as Registrar CEO of the National Business and Technical Examinations Board for a second term of four years, and Professor Promise Mebeni as its Director Chief Executive of the National Mathematical Center for an initial tenure of five years. A statement issued on Friday by the Director of Press and Public Affairs, Federal Ministry of Education, Ben Bem Gung, revealed that the appointments were recommended by the Minister of Education, Adamu Adam. The statement read, President Muhammad Buhari has, upon the recommendation of Education Minister, Adamu Adam approved the reappointment of the Registrar of the Joint Admis Admissions and Matriculations Board, JAM, Professor Ishak Olan Rewaju Oloyede, and the Executive Secretary of the National Universities Commission, NUC, Professor Abubakar Adamu Rashid. The two appointments are for a tenure of five years each, with effect from 1st August 2021. Also reappointed is Dr. Amid Boboyi as Executive Secretary of the University of Basic Education Commission, UBEC, for a second and a half tenure for four years with effect from 1st of August 2021. PDP National Chairman Uche Secondos and ex-President Olusha Gombasundon joined Ale Chenu and Daud Olatunju. There were strong indications on Thursday that power blocks in the opposition party, Democratic Party, has stepped aside some of the arguments. Reached at the party's expanding National Executive Committee meeting held on Tuesday, August 10, it was gathered that though it was agreed at the meeting that the party's national convention should the should hold in October, the Uche Seconders led National Working Committee was advancing reasons why the date was no longer visible. But sources in the party said the rival power block led by the River State Governor Yesom Vike dismissed Secondo's excuse, saying it was a ploy to sit tight. It was also gathered that based on the fresh crisis on, in the party, it might hold another NEC meeting next month. Recall that crisis in the PDP two weeks ago, following alleged moves by the group within the party to remove seconders on the ground that he was planning to install his loyalists as members of the National Convention Committee to ensure his reemergence as a natural as a national chairman. Government kidnapped two Abia varsity lecturers and others. Two lecturers at Abia State University, Uturu lecturers and others were late Thursday robbed and kidnapped by gunmen suspected to be etmen along Apsu Isukwoto Road. According to the chairperson of Apsu Academic Staff Union of Universities, VU Ikem Dirim, the incident took place about 6 p.m. According to him, he said the lecturers involved are Reverend Professor S.O. Eze for of the Department of Industrial Chemistry and Methodist Minister and John Chris Efulike of the Department of Mass Communication who were traveling in their different cars. According to Ikem Dirim, the two lecturers ran into Fulani Earthmen where they were robbing vehicles. After the robbery, the Earthmen took the two lecturers and some others away. 
Let's go on a short break. We'll be right back. News to all Lagos residents, especially owners of landed properties. Payment of land use charge has now been made easy through an online platform known as Lola. Lola is Lagos online assistance platform where payment of land use charge is possible through a WhatsApp only message on 0815 433 3883. This Lola platform, initiated by the Lagos State Ministry of Finance, will make the payment of land use charge possible anytime, any day, and anywhere without any third party involvement. For more information, please visit www.lola.ng or heluc.legostate.gov.ng Lola, the easiest way to pay your Lagos State land use charge. Always remember, Ibigai Pileko Achumoshini. This news. Welcome back. Etel concession will fail. Lego Tiso imminent labor aviation unions have said the federal government would not succeed in its plan to concession nigeria's four major airports in lagos abuja kanu and port Harcourt. however it was also learned that the move of to concession the facilities had created a diversion among airport workers as stores and private aviation companies were in support of concession, while their counterparts in the public service opposed the plan. On Tuesday, the Punch reported that the federal government had officially commenced the search for concessionaries to manage Nigerians four major airports. It made this public through the Federal Ministry of Aviation in its request for pre-qualification for four international airport terminals and related services. Reacting to this, the Secretary General National Union of Air Transport Employees, Ocheme Abba, said the move would not succeed as there were so much legal tissue and other baggage around the operations of the four airports. He told our correspondent that prospective bidders were not available or aware of the concerns, questioning that the union and its partner association in the sector would make the public soon. Abba said the concession exercise is carrying too much baggage and the government will not or cannot succeed. It will not work because of too much baggage. However, our views will be documented by unveiled by next week, Tuesday. Oil price tumbles to $65, lowest in three months. The international oil benchmark Brent crude sank on Thursday to its lowest level since May, it has demand refers and comment from the United States Federal Reserve that it will suspend its bond buying program since prices tumbling. The further decline in prices also came as the spread of the data variants of the coronavirus that causes COVID-19 underlined worries about the demand outlook. And as the US dollar railed, crude oil came under pressure amid weakness in the commodities market and equalities and more generally cbnc reported brent against which nigeria's crude oil percent in 65.67 dollars per barrel earlier on thursday but those rose slightly to 66.13 dollars per barrel as of 7 15 pm nigerian time the dollar after minutes from the Federal Reserve July meeting indicated plans to pull back the pace of their monthly bond purchases. A strong dollar can pressure since it makes the commodity more expensive for foreign buyers. Weak data out of China have also pressured crude in recent sessions after the data released Monday showed the economic expected in july additionally the country's refinery output fell to the lowest level in 14 months now on sport news west brom overwhelmed sheffield united to top championship west brom moved to top of the early english championship table with a commanding 4-0 win at home to sheffield united on wednesday 
The blaze left out Aaron Ramsdale ahead of the reported move to Asana, with replacement goalkeeper Michael Verifs struggling at the all thumbs against the might of Albion's herald threat. Boanhorn goal gave the baggies the lead with Jack Robinson, added Daniel's Follons long throw into his own net on 26 minutes. Verifs was at fault, however, when he dropped Alex Mowat's corner into the path of Dareg O'Shea, early in the second half. Mowat made it 3-0 six months later, and Robinson completed the scoring on the R, failed to deal with another long throw. QPR, bon Bonemouth, and Blackbone all moved off the table with away wins to Behamagam and Nottingham Forest, respectively. London club keep you hard, just at the better of a five-goal thriller in Northeast, despite Moses Odubajo being sent off when the teams were locked at one-to-one. -one. And that will be all for now and for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Meet us same time tomorrow, news at 12, news at 10, and news at 4. Thank you for having me. I remain Adebayo Molera. to all Lagos residents, especially owners of landed properties. Payment of land use charge has now been made easy through an online platform known as Lola. Lola is Lagos online assistance platform where payment of land use charge is possible through a WhatsApp only message on 0815-433-3883. This Lola platform initiated by the Lagos State Ministry of Finance will make the payment of land use charge possible anytime, any day and anywhere without any third party involvement for more information please visit www.lola.ng or lucslegostate.gov.ng lola the easiest way to pay your lagos state land use charge always remember